70 to 80 miles per hour. Some of those are getting blasted to the ground and giving damaging winds in many places. And there's enough swirl as those winds come to the ground that sometimes it will spin off tornadoes. That front will be heading toward uh, New Jersey and New York City. And uh, later on this evening, uh, those damaging winds that are now in central Pennsylvania, possible tornadoes will be marching east, might even threaten New York City later this evening. We'll keep an eye on that. Storms are getting close to Washington, D.C., and they've moved mostly east of the Raleigh area now. This area in red, though, still with a threat of damaging winds and isolated tornadoes. Let's switch sources. I'll show you, in fact, on Sky Tracker the big picture here. We'll see the uh, line of, uh, if we can get that, we're not getting Sky Tracker showing up. Basically, the line of severe thunderstorms, here we go, extends all the way from central Pennsylvania down into the Washington, D.C. area and uh, uh, down into the uh, D.C. area. Let me advance that a little bit. We'll zoom in. We're seeing uh, a line of thunderstorms come right across central Pennsylvania. State College there, Center County, uh, Clearfield County, right in the center of the picture there. And then a little kink you see down uh, across uh, the areas west of Shippensburg. Tornado warnings there for Center Clearfield, Huntington County, Franklin County, and there's some storms coming down toward the Washington, D.C. area. Look at these little line segments coming right into Washington, D.C., down in the south end of that, a possible tornado, Doppler indicated circulation, Prince William County, and we continue that right down into the Roanoke area, or Richmond area as well. There had been some tornado warnings there. You see the red cores have weakened just a little bit, but still, these little line segments coming toward Norfolk and Virginia Beach, coming toward Petersburg, it's in the shifting winds right on the leading edge of these little line segments and lines where we get the tornadoes developed. So it's going to be a very dangerous afternoon. If the lines don't have tornadoes, they're going to have damaging winds. There'll be lots of widespread reports of trees and power lines down, lots of power outages, and very quick spin-ups in these kind of situations. Uh, just a few minutes warning in, in many instances, so you need to take shelter very, very quickly. Now, for more on the Northeast, here's Vivian. Thank you very much, Dr. Forbes. And as Dr. Forbes mentioned, we do have a very turbulent 24 to 36 hours to go, and these are the tornado watches that remain in effect, which does include now, you can see the D.C. area and even down to Richmond. And with all of the winds, as Dr. Forbes mentioned, of course, associated with the individual cells, you got some stronger winds, but the whole system itself has a lot of wind energy with it, with winds in excess of 20 and 30 miles an hour at times. Take a look at the temperatures, really not the big story here, as we have temperatures in the 60s and 70s, like in Philadelphia, 67 in D.C. Okay, here's a look at the forecast tomorrow. We are in anticipating improving conditions for the immediate mid-Atlantic coast, maybe some morning wet to weather in the Boston area. And then on the backside, we'll have some colder air, chilly rain, and mixing in with some wet snow, maybe as far east as Detroit. We'll keep you posted. Now let's check on the southeast with Jeff. All right, piles of insulation and broken wood. I think we have some video of some of the nasty conditions that occurred yesterday there in Summerall, Mississippi. Wind whip destruction, 158 mile an hour uh, estimated winds damaged or destroyed at least 11 homes and six people were hurt here. All right, so what's going on in the south? Well, it is the day to clean up. Colder air is pushed on in. The only severe weather threat would be out here in eastern North Carolina and into South Florida. We'll keep you updated on that. Just keep it tuned here to the Weather Channel. Nasal allergy symptoms like congestion can occur at any time, and it's hard to avoid the things that cause them. Achoo. Prescription Nasonex helps relieve congestion Achoo. and other nasal allergy symptoms. Maybe that's why 4 million nasal allergy sufferers used Nasonex last year. Side effects were generally mild and included headache, viral infection, sore throat, nosebleeds, and coughing. For more information, talk to your doctor. Nasonex keeps congestion and other nasal allergy symptoms on the run, day and night. Nasal congestion? Visit nasonex.com for more information on nasal allergy symptoms. The Hyundai Azera. It shatters preconceptions. It defies assumptions. And with eight airbags, a 263-horsepower V6, plus more interior space than a BMW 760i, it's a whole new take on luxury. And the repercussions are just beginning. The Hyundai Azera. Ranked most appealing large car by J.D. Power and Associates. In the middle of the ocean, 102 cold, wet, and hungry souls cling to life. They share one dim hope that they complete their journey to an unknown land called America. Witness one of history's most significant adventures in the meeting of two cultures that would define a nation for centuries. Desperate Crossing. The untold story of the Mayflower, 
Sunday night at 8. That's why there's the Goodyear Wrangler with silent armor technology. It's engineered with a layer made with Kevlar for toughness and a quieter ride. The Goodyear Wrangler with silent armor technology so you can be there on the wings of Goodyear. The Climate Code with Dr. Heidi Cullen. Sundays 5 Eastern. And now you're local on the 8th.